Hi, my name is Art. Welcome to Understanding Culture, Society, and Politics. And today, we are going to talk about ethnocentrism and xenocentrism. Cultures are diverse. Each of them has their own characteristics, and it adds up dimensions in our lives. Best examples on how cultures become diverse are the way how countries greeted each other. Here's our example. Give me your, give me your, give me your attention, babe. Let us welcome the greetings of friends. They kiss each other's cheek on left and right. While on Japan, they bow to express respect and greetings. You see, that's how different countries greet each other because they have their own unique culture. Some of us may laugh about it, but that's called ethnocentrism. Ethnocentrism is an evaluation of other cultures according to preconceptions originating in the standards and customs of one's own culture. Here are some examples that you may encounter ethnocentrism here in the Philippines. Uy, sarap naman ito! Abay, syempre, ya, kung may magluto yan, pati yung sinabi mo ngayon man yaman sa pinilang ito. Ay, kapampangan pala, kaya, kaya masarap. Awa naman! Balo doon talaga rin kapampangan biyasa ng magluto. Ikay, Warren. Ha? A ano? Hindi kita maintindihan. Hindi kita maintindihan. Hindi ako nakakaintindi ng kapampangan. Ang sabi ko, kailan talaga ako yung mga kapampangan, magaling magluto. Eh, kayo yung mga tagal. Ah, eh, kami na ang mga Tagalog. Sana rin naman kami magluto, pero di kasing galing ng mga taga-Pampanga. Mga kapampangan, magaling daw magluto. Ayan, galing. Totoo yan. Lawin mo naman. Mangyamanin ka ka na rin. Di babalik ka talaga. Oo. Oh, magparang galit ka. Ha? Ang taas kasi ng boses mo. Sinabi ko lang naman na magaling kayo magluto. Eh. Hindi. Mataas lang talaga yung mga tono namin. Madalas sinasabi ng tao na lagi kami yung pagalit magsalita. Pero totoo niyan. Ethnocentrism is when you center your own experiences and cultural beliefs and identity around everything. And so you think that the way you are doing it is the right way or the correct way and the others are wrong. Hmm, what are you doing? You were eating with your bare hand? Yup, we do that here in the Philippines. We only use with our hands. And you? You're using a stick to eat? And what's wrong with eating with chopsticks? We Americans use only spoons and forks when we are eating. Chopsticks? Your hands? Disgusting. The way you don't use your hands and chopsticks while you're eating doesn't mean our way of eating is wrong. We have different cultures, and so it's not just all right to call us about how we eat. It doesn't mean that if you do not do something someone's doing, the only right way to do it is the way you do it. So don't care about night chopstick, and please eat with your own spoon. What an ethnocentric America. On the other hand, xenocentrism is the opposite of ethnocentrism, and it refers to the belief that another culture is superior to one's own. Pride in one's own culture doesn't have to lead to imposing its value on others, and an appreciation for another culture shouldn't preclude individuals from studying it with a critical eyes. In simple terms, kapag tayo is xenocentric people, hindi na downgrade natin ang sarili nating mga kultura. Kapag naman tayo ay ethnocentric sa ating paningin, tayo ay mas nakakataas sa ibang kultura. Let us take our time to learn about other cultures and simply accept the fact that there are many different cultures rather than our own. We need to start thinking about the positives of different cultures and how surrounding ourselves with diverse groups of people that enrich our life. In today's world, if you are all able to respect and know about other cultures and respect their values and beliefs, it would be easier for us. And we can learn a lot of good things from each other. I know that I have learned a lot in this process and I hope you too. And 
I continue to learn each and every day. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.